Lesson 2. How was your practice? Did you discover how powerful what-if questions can be? I know, they are amazing. In the second lesson, we're going to spend some quality time designing your valuable offer as we don't want to spend time and money with ideas that don't work and instead doing our best to understand our customers. I want you to think about yourself and the last purchase you made. What was that about and how did you make your purchase decision? Keep your answers handy and we will come back to it. When you're planning your valuable offer, you need to evaluate your customers' needs, their pains and struggles, and their gains. Customer jobs are the outcome the customer wants to achieve. For example, they want to be entertained or have fun on Friday nights, so you might come up with a cool game to just do that. Customer pains come from bad outcomes, risks, or obstacles, and challenges. For example, if your customers are suffering from migraine and no painkiller has lessened their pain, coming up with a more efficient and uh, healthier painkiller would be a promising idea. Or designing a more comfortable pillow for people that are suffering from backaches. And customer gains are what customers are trying to get done, such as cooking. You might come up with the idea of a podcast talking about healthier food choices. Now, let's switch to your offer and see if there is a relationship between your customer profile and your offer. For example, if you assume customer's problem is going to be finding a gluten-free wedding cake for their guests, can you offer a delicious and presentable cake to cater into their needs? You see, there should be a link between what you offer and what the customers need or are willing to buy to relieve their pain. Get a job done or gain what they are trying to achieve. A great value proposition has different characteristics. Let's explore them together. The offer should focus on the most important or unsatisfied customer job. It should focus on extreme or unresolved pains. And in the end, it should focus on the must-have gains. You also need to consider your competition when designing your offer and make sure that yours is different in many ways and deliver more value to the customers. Now that you understand these concepts better, go back to your exercise from lesson one and pick the best version of your idea from the exercise. Write down the pains you're trying to solve or jobs you're trying to get done. How does your solution or your idea make a difference in your customers' lives? What is the value that your customer receives by this offer? Don't forget to keep the golden rules in mind in the end, just write down your offer in one sentence. Something like, I want to offer a selection of baked goods that everybody can enjoy without being worried about their allergies or sensitivities. So, you can have your cake and eat it too. Check the resources and download the template needed for this lesson. And please take all the exercises throughout this course seriously. You want to see the fruits of your time and energy spent on this course soon. Believe me, following these practices will take you to the finish line faster.